What's up guys, I just wanted to make this video really quick because I just felt it was so important that I make this video. One, because I recently met up with a friend here in Puerto Rico. And this is a younger guy. He, uh, he's pretty charismatic dude. Um, you know, young, good looking, smart, has a master's. And uh, he literally is the same, he's literally in the same exact place where he was before. And, you know, there's things that I noticed about him and other people that make, they make themselves where they, they keep themselves in the same place on purpose. They do it to themselves. And these are things that I noticed. So let me tell you things that I noticed about these sorts of people. Um, one is that they don't try and show value. Their primary focus is on taking. And they might not even do it on purpose, but that's just the way that their mind's built. They just, nobody's, it's either like nobody's called them out enough or they just haven't been self-aware enough to know that they're have a t they have a taking mindset. And it's really sad to see because like, for example, this guy is very, you know, he's got, a, it looks like he's got a lot going for him, right? Looks are deceiving, I understand that. But what I'm saying is his, most of his circumstances are in favor for him. Masters, good looking charismatic but he's missing one component which is follow through now let me t let me tie follow through and his taking mindset usually with people that follow through with things they start and then they follow through no matter what happens they don't get you know they don't get shiny they don't get that shiny object syndrome okay so these kind of people that follow through accomplish things and make things happen. But the people that have that shiny object syndrome where they keep going for more things and more opportunities, they usually have this kind of like taking my, this is what I notice, okay guys? Um, but they usually have the, and if you notice the same thing, comment too, let me know what your experiences are. But they usually have this taking kind of mindset. They wanna take things, they wanna, take opportunity they want to partner with you on things and they want you to provide the capital or they want you to kind of like set them up you know in exchange for no value and the reason why i'm making this video is because there's so many people out there that's like that that they don't they just don't show enough value and they don't follow through because if you knew you were valuable then you would keep following through and following through until you actually made it happen. And uh, you would just do that because that's what you do. Let me give you an example. Let's say that there's islands, right? Like you have a couple islands, right? And you're one island, you're producing goods, you're uh, you know making money and providing a good life for your citizens. And then you have another island and they are barely, you know, keeping their citizens alive. They are barely even, um, you know, yeah, they're barely keeping their island safe and clean. And they're just having a horrible time managing their fucking island. What I notice with people that are successful, they know how to manage their own island, you know, manage their own temple. They work out, they meditate. They follow through with things. Um, they're not, they're self-reliant. And these people, what they do is they end up attracting more things to, to them because they're providing so much value that they attract it. And then you have some people that are always looking out there where, you know, there's something out there, I need to go get it. And they're always looking, they're always taking, they're always wanting to take, you know, take your idea or take your opportunity for absolutely no exchange. You follow what I'm saying here, guys? So 
what I see, what I notice with successful people is they're always they're already doing something. And they're like running their fucking shit, you know, tight. And then when another successful person sees that, they want to partner with them. So there's a, an attraction. There's some there's like an attraction of of something happening there. And it's like a natural thing. It's like, okay, if that person over there is taking care of their shit, you know, I want to be near them. I want to learn from them. Also, I want to see how I can help them and partner with them. But, you know, what am I doing? Am I on the same level or am I taking care of my own shit enough as well? And, you know, you just kind of like check yourself. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like there's a lot of entrepreneurs out there that they have this taking mindset and they don't mean to, but they're just trying to look for a good uh, opportunity for them. Uh, I guess you could say they're they're too opportunistic on things outside of them. They're always going for something outside of them. And uh, so anyways, long story short is I see this a lot. And what I'm trying to tell you guys is this guy, two years, I haven't seen him in two years. Just wanted to say hi, whatever. I'm here by myself in Puerto Rico. But two years... And he's he, he's in the same exact place he was before he was here, you know. He talked a big game, right? You meet him again, still in the same place. And what is that? Why? Why is he there? Why is he in the same exact place? And the best answer that I could come up with is that he never followed through with anything in his life. So... You know, his parents paid for his tuition and, you know, he followed through with his master's. But for whatever reason, he's not an entrepreneur. He thinks he would like to be. He likes the idea. But when it comes down to it, he hasn't followed through. And that's what I'm trying to tell you guys here is the people that follow through and complete their task, their mundane task, win big. And they do it every single day repeatedly. They work out every day. They meditate every day. They do their mundane task and business every single day. And those little things add up and they add up and they add up and they get more momentum, more momentum. And when you start getting that momentum, you start getting that confidence in yourself that, okay, like, look, okay, I can generate this much money because, you know, I've been doing it for this long and this long. So what I'm trying to tell you guys is try and take care of your own temple, your own boat, your own island and watch how you attract everything. You attract good things that come to you when you take care of yourself and your business, you know, everything you attract opportunities to you. Right. Like attracts like. Right. And just so what I'm trying to say is stop looking out there. Just pause for a second and think, how can I take how one? How can I take care of my body Two, what am I currently doing and what habits can I do to to be successful in the business that I'm in right now? How can I become successful in this business and what activities do I need to do every single day for that to happen? to hit that dollar amount and you just want to check yourself instead of looking out there looking for that golden opportunity or that golden networking possibility like look here look at yourself what can i do who who do i have to be on a daily basis to get so and so done see people always think that it's the opportunity it's not the opportunity it's yourself It's your habits because you can become successful in any business if you have the right habits. So what I'm trying to tell you guys is, you know, don't look for the opportunity. You need to start working on yourself. You need to start like thinking like, okay, do, do, do I, do I complete things? Do I start things and not complete things? You got to be real with yourself and then you got to figure out, okay, what did I say? Look in the past. What did I say I was going to do every single day so that I could get A? And you got to start like you got to look. You got to take a hard look at yourself and really know like, okay, 
I don't complete. And um, if I look into my past, I said I was going to do this and I didn't do it. And you got to be honest with yourself and you got to have that real hard honesty with yourself. And, and um, once you start really working on that, you can actually really start working on being accountable for yourself. And I've stressed this so much to people. It's like, you need to be accountable with yourself first. And you need to be self-reliant with yourself before you can give to others. And, you know, give the game to other people. Like, you know, you need to actually be a product of, you know, whatever you preach. You know what I'm saying? And uh, for that to happen, you need to do it every single day. And... Uh, so I'm coming to you guys here because I really don't want that to happen to you. So check yourself and really be honest with yourself. Do you complete do you, or do you start stuff and don't finish it? And usually, it, usually, if you know you start stuff and you never finish, that's what you need to work on. And it could be a little thing too. It could be just like working out. All right, and you just like you just want to start one thing and try and complete it every single day, and you make that a habit, and then after that, you make another habit, and then you complete that every day. You know, you brush your teeth every day. Why don't you do another habit? You know what I'm saying? And uh, so that's what I'm trying to tell you guys. It's like habits can build. You know, your accountability to yourself builds every single day, and you can you can become very successful that way. And that's actually what I did. I was um, I first started out with working out about three years ago is when things took off for me. But the first thing I started was I was gonna work out every single day and do a certain thing, meditate every day. But over time it's turned into more and more things to now it's like, you know, I go work out every day, like it's just normal, like working out to me Every day is like brushing my teeth. I don't even think about it. It's like, I have to get that done. It's not like, oh, I don't want to, or it's not, it's not like, oh, I have to think about it or I forgot about it. No, it's like, it's instinctive. Like it's gonna happen during the day, it's just when. So like, you wanna start to get to that point where things are just normal. Like it's normal for you to complete things. It's normal because you've got the habit done. So, um, Anyways, guys, let me know if you have any questions. Uh, if you have any questions about flipping medical commodities, let me know. Like I said, I have a mastermind. And um, if you have any questions about that, let me know. And, you know, honestly, if you have your own business right now, think about what I said. It's very important for you to be very consistent and create winning habits. So we'll talk soon. Peace.